Hey everyone, we just wanted to share with you our thoughts on how we designed this van with having two large dogs living with us in mind. We're full time living in this van, and when we were designing this van, we wanted to make sure that we can accommodate them too and their needs and comfort, storage for them, as well as managing overall cleanliness in such a very small space such as this one. The plan was to maximize having fun with them too, doing outdoor stuff, which is why we're van lifing in the first place, and to be able to travel with them so that we wanted to make sure that it would be easy for us to do that. We wanted to make sure that it was easy for us to clean the van after taking them out, whether it's in the rain or the snow, so that we'd be willing to take them out for fun outdoor activities, even if it means getting a little bit messy, uh, like going to the beach or going to the lake. Especially for Maui, when she goes to the beach, she likes to roll around in the sand and make a big mess. So having a wash station to clean them up afterwards is a must. With that being said, let me show you around the van and some of the designs that we integrated into the build. The first part of the van that I want to show you is the wash station. We have a wash station in the front and a wash station in the back. And this is how it works. We have a hose with a, an attachment. So we hook this up. Wash the dogs down with the hose over here. And we have another one in the back as well. So whenever Maui and Maru they come they go and play in the sand or in the beach, we can wash them off here before we get them back into the bed. Um, and you can see that we actually use dark blue cabinets. Um, because they can get a little bit messy if they're wet or if they're uh, shaking off water. It hides the color and stain a little bit better. So we decided to go with this dark blue throughout. Um, and here we have the cabinets here for uh, storing their stuff. We have all cleaning tool, hard guard for the dogs. We have their toys, some cleaning wipes oral care foam, and their towels, and, and a bunch of their supplies in there. So we have a sliding door here, here that we built so uh, to prevent them from jumping into the front of the van. Alright guys, go back in the front, come on, in the front. And this one, and, and the sliding door locks both ways as well. Come on, my way. Come on, my way. Go in the front. Come on, my way. Come on. Go in the front. Here is their storage um, in this bench here. Um, we can open this up and we store their dog food in here. We have canned food in there, we have their snacks. This is pretty much their area for all the food and, and uh, their snacks. So when we're designing the van, um, we're, we weren't sure when we're driving where they're gonna be. So we added this door, um, but they ended up wanting to stay with us in the front when we're driving. So in the front over here, we have a memory foam that's right in between the cab area. That's where they sleep when we're driving. Uh, Maui and Maru actually sleeps in this area instead of being in the back by themselves. Um, so we added this memory foam here just for them to sleep while we're driving. We actually placed the water bowl inside the shower area. Maui is a pretty messy drinker, so when she uh, spills water around the area, it will just go down the, the drain in the shower. And if you notice, we actually have a lot of hooks on the front of the bed, and this is where we hook their leashes if we open the doors, so that when they go out, they'll stay secure. So we have a camera here that's hooked up to our Wi-Fi system and we are able to watch them when we are outside of the van. 
And over here we have a uh, temperature sensor to make sure that the, the van is not overheating. And that's also hooked up to the Wi-Fi system. Um, and we can check the temperature of the van using the, the app on our phone. And we have a few pouches here for their snacks as well. Um, some supplements and, and wipes and stuff. We put all their, their food here for easy access. So when we decided on the layout of the, the van, we wanted to have a openness feel to it so that they can walk around in this hallway. Even if we're um, staying inside the van for the day, for example, if it's raining or snowing, um, at least they'll still be comfortable hanging out inside. Um, when Rina's working, Maui and Maru sometimes would just lay in the bottom of the, uh, the dinette area and they're pretty comfortable down there. It's pretty cozy. Um, and our bed is actually a little bit smaller than a king size bed. So we sleep horizontally. There's plenty of space for them, them two to sleep. Uh, Maui usually sleeps, sleeps on this side and then Maru would jump up, up and down on the bed. We, we decided to paint this wall. Originally it was white. When they're kicking on the wall, uh, it usually leaves some marks on it. So we wanted to make sure that this is uh, nice and clean. But uh, you can kind of still see some marks on here from, from them kicking. But uh, yeah, that's why we, we added this, this design to this wall here. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the design, be sure to leave a comment below. If you like this video, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for more of our future content. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to watch our complete van tour, be sure to click over here. Thanks for watching. See you again.